courses to take next term. I have to do that too. What are you taking? Well, I have to fill one science requirement and English and I want to take home economics. Home economics? Why in the world do you want to take home ec? Why? Well, because that's something I'm going to need to know and so are you. We have to learn sometime, Carol. I'm learning something about homemaking right now. Mother can teach us how to keep house and cook and sew and everything we'll need to get by on. But I don't want to just get by. If I'm going to be a homemaker the rest of my life, I want to know what I'm doing. So do I. But personally, I think it's a waste of time to take home ec. What can they teach you in home ec classes that you can't learn right here at home or pick up after you get married? Well, I don't know, but there's some things, I'm sure. If you find out what it is, you tell me. All right, I will find out. Well, since you teach home ec, Miss Jenkins, could you tell me what I could learn in home ec that I can't learn at home? Well, first of all, let's admit one thing, Janice. If your mother's going to run her own household and keep up on all the latest developments and teach you and your sister all there is to know about homemaking, well, she's going to be a pretty busy woman. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Janice, you need to know more than just how to run a house or an apartment. You need to know why as well as how. Now, let's take a look at some of the courses you could take and see what might help you. In the courses that deal with the preparation of meals, you'll learn more than just how to cook. You will also study the fundamental principles of food buying, food handling, and of course, the preparation and serving of family meals. Meals that are planned to meet the individual needs of your family. You'll understand the nutritional problems of your family and each individual better after you've had courses in food and nutrition and studied the food requirements of the body and the composition and nutritive values of different foods. The needs and personality of each individual in your family will likewise determine the type of clothing you should purchase or construct. In clothing courses, you'll study the psychology of clothing, the history of costume, and the techniques of dress designing. You'll learn to recognize common fabrics and to distinguish one textile from another. Present-day textiles cannot be selected with confidence just by casual examination because there are so many new man-made fibers and new finishes for the old, familiar, natural fibers. It's a proud moment when you finally step before the mirror in something you've constructed because you'll see not only the garment, but a person who is better prepared to select or construct clothing suitable for each member of your future family. And as you prepare for the future, you should recognize that your first home may be a trailer or it may be your dream home. In either case, you'll be able to make your home more attractive, more suitable to your family if you've studied home decoration. Learn to distinguish between furniture styles and qualities. Practice combining different types of fabrics, colors, textures to find the effective ways of using whatever is available. You know, many boys as well as girls are enrolled in home economics courses. They too need to learn house designs, decorator colors, and money management. And when it comes to managing that home, you'll need to understand the principles of money management, how to use most advantageously whatever income you have. But of course, your real success or failure as a homemaker will be determined by your ability to develop good family relationships. 
The enrollment of both boys and girls in family relationship classes has shown that we're all becoming more and more aware of the advantages of preparing for marriage. Courses in child development help to prepare you for the task of guiding the child's physical, mental, and emotional development. Children need help in such things as learning the principles of money management, taking responsibility for their decisions, and adjusting to social situations. Home economics training teaches ways of developing democratic practices within the home and encourages you to take an active part in community affairs to protect the interests of your family and to share your education with others as well. Does that help answer your question, Janice? Oh, I should say it does. Why, if anyone is going to be married and be a homemaker, it'd be foolish not to take home ec. But what if I don't get married? What good will all this do me then? Well, that's something for you to consider, all right. You may not get married. Not right away, at least. You probably will go on to college first and then maybe even work for a while. If you do have an opportunity to go on to college, you'll be able to continue your home ec training on a higher level. The home ec courses you've taken in high school will provide a good foundation for the more advanced work in college. You'll see the relationship of your home ec training and the many other courses you will take in college. For instance, the relationship between a college chemistry course and what you've already studied about the chemical composition of new fabrics. Bacteriology will be more interesting because you've been concerned with bacteria and foods. And the same will be true of other courses. Sociology, economics, and psychology. For home economics training shows you how to use all your education to improve your living conditions. And when you graduate from college, there will be many professional opportunities awaiting you if you become qualified in the field of home economics. Home economists are urgently needed as teachers in secondary schools and colleges in extension work and in nursery schools. Businesses which specialize in selling goods and services to the homemaker need personnel with home economics training. While dietitians are in great demand as directors of food service in hospitals and other institutions, social service agencies utilize home economists in the development of their programs. If you have scientific interests or technical skills, there's a demand for laboratory technicians in nutrition, foods, and textile research. In the newspaper and magazine field, there are fine opportunities for writers who have a working knowledge of home economics. And in radio and television, there are opportunities for home economists who have the necessary training and capabilities. And so you see, Janice, regardless of what the future may hold in store for you, your home ec training will be of value to you. You'll always be faced with the problems of maintaining a home for yourself. And you'll find that your home ec training has given you an understanding of how to be a better homemaker, both for yourself and for others who depend upon you. And that's something worth thinking about. I will think about it, Miss Jenkins, and thank you. You're welcome, Janice. Come back again any time. What can they teach you in home ec classes that you can't learn here at home or pick up after you get married? If you find out, you tell me. Just wait till I get home and see Carol. What I won't tell her. <laughs> <laughs>